Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com and iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm showing you WebLock. It's an app ad block application for iOS devices. So we're all familiar with these extensions and plugins that you can use for Firefox or Chrome. This application helps you block images, JavaScript ads. I'm just going to go quickly show you what you can do. It's very basic as far as understanding of what you can block and not block. They, they tell you everything. So you can have all these filters, ad servers, which includes in all the popular ad sites such as, let's just go to Google, AdWords and AdSense. So you have those available there. You can check them off if you like. You can block ads for Pandora, for instance. You can take care of cookies, user tracking. You have the option to block it. Don't want to track, be tracked by Google Analytics. You have that option, ad trackers. So you name it, you have to try this for on your own. You have the option to block social sharing buttons such as Facebook or all the content from Facebook. You have the option to block YouTube. You, can, you have the option to block images, JavaScript. Now how you set up is you go to your settings, you tap on your network and they actually sh tell you how to do it. So you copy this link right here and then you go to your proxy, you set auto and then paste it there and you should be set. You have to clear your cache or restart your applications to get it started so keep that in mind and once you have that you can go and let's say I go to Huffington Post I've blocked images nothing shows up if I go to YouTube remember I blocked YouTube and if I go there as you can see nothing shows up so it's not perfect I've seen sites that even though I'm blocking images some images show up when I some of the filters for blocked websites don't work so it's not completely perfect, but it's close enough for me at least that it gets up some of the annoying things that are you, you find on the internet, especially on mobile devices. So it's weblock. Again, you can set your blacklist, you add new rules. You, you have your whitelist. You have your redirections again. So you have a lot of options. You probably don't want to use all of these because it could really cripple your web browsing experience and I mean it depends let's say you don't want your child to have access to some dubious sites you have the option to control it from here but you want to make sure that it's set up you have the all the check the green you see the network the setup proxy setup and then you have to enable weblock to get it started so you want to set it up the right way and test it out and make sure that's doing exactly what you want to do and nothing more to take away from the experience of whoever is going to use your tablet or a smartphone. Keep in mind you need Wi-Fi connection for this to work. So simple, just follow the instructions and set up. Set up your filters, the ones that you want. I personally, for instance, usually block discuss and things like that. But then again, if you want to comment, you have to put that back those back in. You I don't have a blacklist, but some people do. I don't even have a whitelist either. So if you do, you want to set those up as well. So it's web block and it does what it promises for the most part it wasn't perfect for us and let's see how it gets improved and maybe they can fix some of the issues that we experienced i hope you enjoyed this video for more information please go to iphoneness.com and iphoneappsfinder.com thanks again for watching guys